All right, it's card of the day, and this is card number 202, titled Inquiring About Obi-Wan Kenobi. Yes, let's learn more. When Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan returned to Coruscant, they were asked for help by a man called Didi Otto, who was being targeted by a bounty hunter called Ona Nobis. After a series of brief fights, all ending with Nobis escaping, Nobis was able to abduct Qui-Gon. Obi-Wan, with the help of Jedi Adi Gallia and her Padawan Siri Tachi, was able to find Nobis again on planet Belasco, where the four fought on a rooftop. Nobis had her whip lassoed around a drain pipe, and their duel ended with Gallia cutting the whip in half, resulting in Nobis falling to her death. Obi-Wan figured out that a scientist who experimented on Force sensitives named Jenna Zan Arbor was responsible for hiring Nobis. Together with his friend, Astri Otto, Obi-Wan went to Jenna Zan Arbor's secret laboratory and rescued his master. However, Arbor was able to escape. Obi-Wan joined his master, Adi Gallia and Siri Tachi, in their search to find Arbor again, but they were unsuccessful. At some point between 44 and 32 BBY, Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon were sent on an extended mission to Mandalore, which was engulfed in the Mandalorian Great Clan Wars. They were tasked with serving as bodyguards to the Duchess Satine, leader of the pacifist New Mandalorians, whom the Senate supported against the belligerent Mandalorian clans. Together, the two Jedi spent a year on Mandalore protecting the Duchess from the hostile insurgents threatening her world. Obi-Wan fell in love with Satine during his stay on Mandalore, but despite his feelings toward her, he continued with his training and was reassigned. Obi-Wan regretted leaving her, but ultimately followed the Jedi code he has sworn to live by. In 41 BBY, Obi-Wan followed his master to New Absalon against the Jedi Council's orders not to, as Qui-Gon had visions of Jedi Tal being harmed. When they arrived, Qui-Gon's visions were revealed to be true as they found out that Tal had disappeared. The two Jedi spent days on figuring out that an organization called the Absolutes had abducted her as they had seen her protect one of their enemies. Qui-Gon soon found Tal again, however, he found that it was too late as she had been drugged with paralytic drugs to the point of her death. Obi-Wan later reflected upon Tal's death, remembering seeing the refusal to accept the fact in his master's eyes. As a Padawan, he thought it impossible that a Jedi Knight could die, but he later came to believe that the first moment of his adulthood had come when he'd seen Qui-Gon's face register the fact that Tal was dead. The death of his partner resulted in Qui-Gon becoming obsessed with finding the drugger, Balog, but as he was about to strike him down, he realized what he had become and stopped. That's it for now. More information on the next Obi-Wan Kenobi card. And now it's the back side of the card, and it is a picture puzzle piece. Well, that's the card of the day. Look out for the next card. Thank you for watching Star Wars Obsessed Card of the Day. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can follow Star Wars Obsessed on Instagram and Facebook.